told you a story of one old man of God. They were the first evangelists that I have heard about. When they are preaching on radio, there's no television at that time. You just put your hand where they are preaching, far away, say, put your hand on your radio. As you do like this, kind of healings are taking place. People will be giving testimony and say, when you say, put your hand on the radio, I put my hand on the radio, I brought the radio near my stomach, and, and, and oh my God. And they got outstanding miracles. Hey! Whenever it is their time for that radio program, even unbelievers, they will stand there glued. And it was affecting the land in, the, in a very powerful manner. Hey. And I've been wanting to meet him. Because I love to go and meet men that God has used. I wanted to learn something from him. But suddenly I don't hear his voice again. Suddenly the radio program cancelled. I was wondering. But one day I got a letter of invitation. Brother Bilea Kani, uh, you are invited to come and take a message. So, 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 and then they put that Baba's uh, ministry name. I said, eh? Hey. Signed by him. I said, ah ah. No, if an elder is calling me, not for the not for what I want to pray, just to see him. That's how I prepared though. I thought I was going to preach to thousands of people because these are men that moved the land. Only for me to be directed. Turn here, turn here, turn here. By the time I turned. I enter into a house. It's like a parlor. I say, where is the meeting? He said, this is the meeting. I'm telling you, my brother, no matter how famous you think you are, sin will defame you. Sin will bring you to nothing. I was still confused when they led me to the man of God. They said, Brother Billy has arrived. I prostrated as an elder. I greeted him. Then he brought his hand and said, Billy, I have been hearing about you. I invited you to come and help me. Because I missed it. But much more than the, the meeting you are going to speak. It's not the meeting. I want to meet you. So that I can tell you what happened to me. If you will be careful for it not to happen to you. Hmm. I drew my chair. Then Baba began. He said, God used me mightily. There was an anointing that God poured on my head. He was telling me. We went to cities and cities gathered. Miracles. But you see me today. Everything has finished. I said, Baba, what? He said, you see. It's everything you see here now is everything that remained. He said, Bile, fear women. Ah. I said, hey.
Say the loss of women enter my life. It was like a joke. I am finished. I'm finished. But God still told him, but what I called you to do, you have not finished it. Go and finish. But I'm finished. I am finished. And I cannot finish what I'm supposed to do. That's why I'm asking some of you to come and help me. You can help me finish. I remember I just knelt down. I wasn't praying for Baba. I cried for myself. I cried and said, Oh God, you must have brought me all the way just to hear this. I had no interest in the small people that gathered for me to talk again. I just cried. And I said, Baba, may God help you. I said, Well, there's, there's hope. If you see a tree that is cut down, but the root has not been removed, it may sprout again. But I think the best thing is to prepare for heaven. He said, Sir, I've been trying. I don't know where to start my restitution. As I said, all those strange women that came to my life, I've been trying to push them away, but they have damaged me already. Sin. Sin. is a very small word. It has got mentioned. It's a sin is a reproach to any man. We are praying tonight, and I don't want you to be looking up and down. God came and told us all. I mean, is this Cain? He said, Cain, sin is crouching at your door. And it is important for you to crush it. You must overcome it. Otherwise, it will make you useless. I don't think Cain understood. Or he was too stubborn. That's how he became a useless vagabond all his life. What is that thing that makes young men to faint? What is that thing that makes energetic youth to utterly fall? What is it? What is it that the devil had used to scatter many great works? There are men that God set up that will have brought Fiber that will shake nations, but sin silence them. But those who wait on the Lord, I want to ask you to join me in prayer tonight. Our brother said there's an appointment. He said, This is not the you that we used to know. This is not how you began. This is not the fire we started seeing with you. Something finished it. Something punctured it. Maybe a friend. Maybe a business. Maybe an ambition somewhere. It may be something that looks lucrative. You didn't see the needle inside. 
It may look as if there's no problem. You didn't see that the enemy has packaged it for you. And you may be sitting here looking and saying, well, nobody knows, nobody knows. Do I need to know? If it is for people to know, that would have been a little problem. But sin actually does not want anybody to know until he has finished you. He doesn't want people to know. He wants you to be alone so that he can isolate you for slaughter. You are doing something that even your wife does not know. 